Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Friday evening episode of Ted's Booze Cellar with me, your most gracious host, Ted, the premier alcohol review show here on YouTube. It is 16 past 7 on the 5th of March, 2021. Sorry about there not being any episodes last week, but my internet was down for about a week, so I, it was pretty tricky to do anything on YouTube, including here and on my gaming channel as well. So, yes, apologies about that, but it was somewhat unavoidable, really, that I could do anything last week. So today we're going to be continuing on with the beers from the Beer 52 gift box that I was given by my good friend Finley for a late birthday present. I've gotten another one since then um, which is based around British beers. So we've got a couple more Australian ones to do and then we'll get on to the British ones. But for the time being we've got this one here which is called Metamorphosis which is an India Pale Ale or an IPA. Um, and it says on the back here after being crushed a good Oh, sorry. After being crushed to goo at the hands of the mech... something or other, this mysterious beastie flots future devastation from within the hop cocoon. You, you could stand to make the text on the back here a little less pretentious, guys, but um, will its multi photosynthate provide sweet relief from the bitter lupulin coursing through its slime and phlegm? I mean... I know there's a stereotype that IPAs are kind of seen as a pretentious um, circle of drinks. But I, I mean, I think that's a bit unfair. But this, I mean, Jesus Christ, that is about as pretentious as you can get. Um, so, it's I'm trying to see what the name of the brewery is here. Uh, I think it's actually Kaiju Beer. Yeah, Kaiju Beer, which is quite a nice name for a brewery, actually. Um, they're based out of Australia. So, yeah, it's a 6.7% alcohol volume IPA. And despite how pretentious the writing on the can was, I do like the design of it. Very artsy, simple, clean line design there on the, uh, you know, um, the hop with an eye, as you can see. So, yeah, I'll give that a 10 out of 10. It's very artistic, but it's nice to look at at the same time. It's, you know, it's psychedelic, but not too confusing to the eye. But um, we'll give it a quick sniff to see what its uh, first impressions are like. Hopefully they're better than the weird brighton on the back. Oh, wow. That, I already get a smell of that. That is very strong. Hang on. Okay. It just smells like a usual IPA. A bit mango uh, A bit of like a bittery, hoppy sort of after smell. So, yeah, it's not particularly outstanding, but it's a nice smell nonetheless. So I'll give that a 6 out of 10 for the smell. But I have a sort of quick palate cleanser of water first, obviously. And remember, always stay hydrated. But on to the most important part of the video to see what this tastes like. So, to everyone, it's glad to be back. I'm glad to be back, I should say. And uh, I hope everyone has a good weekend. So, bottoms up. Hmm. Huh. I mean, the texture's good, for a start. The texture's very smooth. Um, it's not too harsh either, despite the fact that it's a 6.7% alcohol volume beer. Um, you know, because some do sort of like, sort of just really buzz up your taste buds and sort of like, sort of really... Um, overly stimulate like the uh, skin and taste buds inside your mouth um this doesn't do that it's got a definite sort of like oomph to it under underlying the flavor but it's not so much that it will completely knock you off your feet and um it's still you know despite the misgivings i have it is a smooth drinking experience now the flavor the flavor does leave a little bit to be desired because there's this nice sort of slightly grapefruity uh, mangoey sort of flavor in the middle um undercut by this sort of like slightly um by this kind of citrusy rind sort of kind of flavor um and then the aftertaste is this weird sort of coppery flavor that's kind of just there and it doesn't really fit with the other flavors present there um plus the flavors are quite thin towards the finish so it's not bad beer, but it's definitely a beer that isn't, um, I don't know, it's hard to say, because this is a pleasant drinking experience. The texture is completely fine, um, and none of the flavours are particularly offensive. Um, 
it's just I feel like the flavors that are here aren't mixed together particularly well. Um, so I'm probably going to give this a five point five out of ten. It's it is good enough to worth you know be worth trying, and I think that this is one of those beers where um, I think it may just be down to personal tastes more than anything because. I can imagine if someone is getting into India Pale Ales for the first time, this might not be a bad one to go for because its flavour is very simple and it's nice to get. It's easy to get to grips with and it's it is palatable. Um, it's just the I don't know. Maybe yeah. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I maybe I've got, as I've gotten older, I've sort of gotten into sort of like IPAs that are a bit more expressive with their flavours. But I don't know. I think that this. It is worth trying, but it's not one that's going to blow my mind personally. But then again, it's also one of those ones that I think, depending on the person in question, could you know make their day and possibly be the best IPA they've ever tried. So I don't know. I get the fit. Yeah, I would say this is a five point five, but more than a lot of other IPAs I've reviewed on this channel before that I've ended up not liking. I think this is one of those ones that's just down to personal taste. So yeah, five point five out of ten, but possibly rising up to a six maybe, but. I, I think that's as far as I can go with this one. So, yeah. But if you guys did like this video, leave a like, share, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Booze Cellar, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you want to check out anything else I do online, I'll leave the links to all that in the video description down below. But until next time, have fun, stay safe, drink responsibly, know your limits, and I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booze Cellar. Bye-bye for now.